get ready to dive into a sharky surprise. You won't usually spot a great white at your neighborhood zoo or aquarium. These ocean giants are super popular, and everyone's buzzing about them, but they're more likely to be swimming free in the wild than chillin' in a tank near you. Meet the majestic shark, often seen gliding gracefully behind glass tanks in oceanariums worldwide. However, what happens when these incredible creatures are taken out of their natural habitat and put on display? Unfortunately, it's not a pretty picture. We've seen headlines like Great White Shark Dies After Capture plastered across newspapers, just days after these magnificent animals arrived at their new home. One of the first recorded attempts to keep a shark in captivity was made by Marine Land of the Pacific back in California's mid-1950s. And you won't believe that this poor shark survived for less than a day. But, sadly, this wasn't an isolated incident, it marked only the beginning of a tragic series of events. You won't believe how sharky history went down. Back in the day, SeaWorld gave captive shark shows a shot from the 70s to the 90s, but it was more like shark astrophy. Every single attempt ended with either the shark meeting its maker or being pushed back into the wild after just two weeks. It wasn't until the Monterey Bay Aquarium rolled up their sleeves in the 2000s that we saw a glimmer of hope. They kept a great white on display for an impressive six months before it swam free again. That was quite the achievement, but let's be real, it was still just a one-off. The harsh truth is, great whites in aquariums don't mix well at all. So, let's dive into why great whites are super picky eaters. Here's the deal, they only chow down on live prey, unless they're literally starving. Talk about being self-sufficient. But have you ever thought about what it would be like if we had to cater to their eating habits? I mean, imagine having a fridge stocked with fresh seals and fish, just waiting for that shark to come along. Sounds like a logistical nightmare, right? Getting a great white shark to star in your show might sound cool, but let's face reality. It's not going to be simple or budget-friendly. Plus, think about the bigger picture, bringing in a live animal for it to chow down on is a PR nightmare waiting to happen. Animal rights are super important and we gotta respect that. As for offering a dead fish snack, forget it. Great whites have a reputation for being very picky eaters. Get ready to dive into the world's most iconic predator, the great white shark. But before we do, let's talk about why keeping them in captivity is a massive undertaking. It's not just about feeding them, live prey can be super costly and trust us, you don't want that on your hands when it comes to negative press. Now, let's switch gears and focus on what makes these magnificent creatures tick. Imagine you're face to face with a marine beast. Your first thought, aggression, right? And that's not far off. But here's the surprising twist being cooped up in captivity is what really gets them fired up. In fact, it's so common for sharks to become frustrated and lash out, sometimes even damaging their tank or harming their tank mates due to hunger and anger. No wonder keeping these aquatic giants is a costly endeavor. Constantly repairing those tanks doesn't come cheap. Let's tackle the idea of giving this majestic creature its own personal tank, a solo ride for our great white shark friend. But here's the catch that would mean adding more expenses to an already pricey solution. Constructing a tank miles long just for one shark isn't exactly a business model or a feasible plan. Now, imagine you're on the Great White's team. Its gills need a constant water flow to suck in oxygen and keep it alive. Unlike other sea animals that can breathe by simply opening their mouths while stationary, our star player has to swim super fast through the water to get enough air. So, picture this enormous tank we'd need to let a 6-meter-long shark swim around, not just survive, but actually thrive. Buckle up because we're about to dive into some mind-blowing ocean facts. Did you know great whites like Nicole have been tracked crossing an incredible 12th, 400 miles from Africa to Australia and back again, all within just 9 months? These marine marvels are meant to roam free, traveling vast distances for their own happiness. It's clear they weren't made to be confined, trying that would be a recipe for disaster. So can we replicate the massive ocean spaces they crave? Let's find out. Let's face it, trying to find a fake shark in a massive tank would be a total snooze fest for our visitors. It'd take an eternity. No way, we need something way more thrilling. Alright, on to our next brainwave. What if the powerful electrosensory skills of a real shark get overwhelmed by all the signals bouncing off a glass cage? Here's the deal. Sharks like Great Whites can totally tune into their surroundings with that crazy electro reception superpower. But when they're stuck in tanks with glass walls and all sorts of electronic gear buzzing around them, it's like sensory overload. They get disoriented, confused even, and next thing you know they're bumping into the walls or just looking super stressed out. Either way, it's not good if a shark gets physically or mentally messed up, its chances of making it in captivity are basically zero. But that's still not the whole story, getting a great white to even end up in a tank is no easy feat. 
Imagine snagging the world's biggest prawn. No, wait. It's actually the largest shark in the ocean we're after here. Getting hold of this beast is no cakewalk. It takes a lot of skill and strategy. Once you've finally caught it, the real adventure begins, transporting your massive shark to its new home safely. You'll need a custom-built transfer tank that can not only fit your enormous shark, but also keep it calm during transport, ensuring both the shark's comfort and yours until you reach your destination. The world of keeping sharks as pets. It's like running a marathon while navigating a stormy sea. Not only does it demand tremendous effort, but you're also dealing with some serious risk factors along the way. And if that wasn't enough, many experts believe that these magnificent creatures can fall into a rut, stuck in depression and gloom when their tank environment just doesn't measure up to their natural wild habitat. Since sharks are saltwater superheroes, it's crucial we replicate that marine magic by creating an ultra-realistic saline water tank for them to thrive. But the sad truth is, even with our best efforts, achieving that perfect balance can be a challenge, leading to health problems and sadly, in some cases, the shark's untimely demise. Let's hope that keeping great whites in captivity isn't the norm, or sharks everywhere would be in trouble. They face so many issues, health problems and even attacking tank mates. That's why if you're obsessed with meeting a great white up close and personal while staying safe, Gansby in South Africa's Western Cape is your top choice. Just hop on a 15-minute boat ride and get ready to spot these incredible creatures with an astonishing 99.5% chance of success. You'll witness them thriving in their natural habitat, the ultimate experience for any shark enthusiast. So, would you rather spot a great white shark swimming freely in the ocean or get up close in an aquarium setting? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board. Don't forget to check out more of our awesome content and give us your feedback. You can also connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram for more fun and education. Let's dive right back into it. We're about to uncover some mind-blowing facts about the human brain. So buckle up and get ready to level up your knowledge.